Hey everyone, I am Anthony Scott of ToyHypeUSA.com and today we're taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reaction figures from Super 7, Wave 2. This wave includes Krang, Space Cadet Raphael, April O'Neil, Baxter Stockman, Undercover Donatello, and Splinter. These figures are available now at Super7.com and uh, several of our Sponsors and affiliates will also be carrying those. So see uh, ToyHypeUSA.com under purchase uh, on where else you can buy these figures, $17.99 each. And if you're on YouTube, that link is just below the video under uh, written content and where to buy. I also want to thank our friends at Super 7 for providing these figures for review. Greatly appreciated. Uh, so I'm sure most of you are well aware that the reaction line is about uh, kind of like redesigning uh, these franchises. Uh, these figures are designed as if they were released in the 70s, possibly early 80s. So they include five points of articulation. Some of them come with accessories. But overall, they, have, they keep their uh, character likeness. Uh, really good paint applications on a lot of these and so on and so forth. Uh, the reaction line has been around for quite a while now, so I'm sure you've seen uh, these around. They've done uh, many different franchises over the years with these characters, and now they're touching on Ninja Turtles. So, I want to uh, talk about the packaging. The packaging is retro-inspired from... Uh, the classic line, the 80s, 90s line, and they did a really good job on this packaging. The artwork is phenomenal. I cannot stress that enough. I almost want to keep these in packaging. I mean, that's how good the uh, the packaging is. You see uh, really good paint apps on Splinter, uh, things like that. The packaging itself, really, really nice. Uh, you see the um, the green and uh, red, the uh, the turtle shell and the red foot on the front of the package, which indicates if he's a hero or a villain, just like the old Playmates toys figure had. So I really like that they kept that on this. That's uh, a really nice touch. And I'm going to show you the back. Uh, each card has a little bit of a, a bio about the character uh, up here, which you can cut out, but I like to keep the cards just for uh, reference later on. And it gives you a look at Wave 1, which I'll showcase along with these figures. And below that is Wave 2. And there's the bottom of the card. So, they really did uh, a nice job on these cards. Here is Undercover Donatello. Uh, this figure was part of the vintage line. He was one of the more popular variants of Donatello. I actually remember getting this, uh, the, the, the vintage figure, at uh, Disney World in Florida uh, back in the day. So, it's nice to have him again. And they did a really nice job on uh, the artwork and everything. You see the turtle shell indicating he's a hero. And of course, the back of the card, little bio there. So here's your look at Baxter Stockman. He's got the foot indicating he's a villain. I really love this artwork that they did on him. It's, uh, wow, that came out really, really nice. Of course, the back. So look at the bio. And April O'Neil, very nice uh, artwork inspired from the uh, classic cartoon. They really did a nice job. The figure, very nice, comes with a camera and a throwing star, which is packaged along the side there, just taped to it. And there's a look at the bio. Nope. 
and of course Space Cadet Raphael. They really did a nice job. The artwork on this is just really, really nice. And a look at the back. Here's uh, the bio again. And the rest is all the same, but just the bio is different on each card. And last but not least, Krang. Speaking of Krang, I was so happy when they uh, brought this character back in the 2012 series. Uh, they really did a phenomenal job with that show. And the uh, having him in the reaction line is definitely a gift. I think fans will definitely go crazy for this figure. But right now we're taking a look at the card. You see... Uh, Really nice artwork, some slime there, or whatever that is, a mutagen. Excuse me, that's probably mutagen. And of course the back, you see the card. Now it says Birthplace Dimension X. Uh, back in the uh, 2012 series, you learned that this Krang was from that universe and he was brought over to uh, a different universe because the other Krang didn't like him. But on here it says his birthplace was Dimension X. I don't know if uh, that was accurate back in the day, but they, it looks like they changed his origin. If you've seen the show, just, just throwing that out there for anyone that had, uh, didn't see it. But uh, additional details there. All of the, uh, the back is the same. And here's another look at the card. So what I'm going to do is open all these up. And we're going to take a look at the figures together. Hey guys, welcome back. So I went ahead and took the figures out of packaging. And what you see is an in-hand look at all of them. Uh, six figures in this wave as you've seen them in their packaging and So I'm gonna start talking about Krang and his uh, Bubble Walker uh, It's uh, been slightly redesigned in the reaction figure style and It has really good uh, pays a really good homage to the classic cartoon the uh, vintage toy and I really like how they went about and did this. Uh, this part lifts up as shown, and that just hangs out on his back, back here. And the one thing uh, about this figure is that Krang does not, cannot be taken out, unfortunately. I kind of wish he was, but they didn't offer him like that. But he's got. Uh, few joints of articulation, the arms move, the legs move, that's four, and I guess you can count that as five, six, and seven, seven points of articulation. Uh, the standard is five, so really like that. Uh, what I want to show you is the retro Krang. So we're going to do a side by side comparison here. So you guys can get a pretty good look about the, uh, the size, the uh, in hand comparison, and you see that they also changed a few of the colors while it's it still pays a good homage to it. So there's a look at the sides. Oops. And of course the back, they added this, they changed the color, but they added red to this gear while this one was not painted when Playmates Toys did this figure. And of course, as you know, this lifts up. Krang can be taken off the walker, and he can't on the reaction figure line. So, and uh, also Krang is a different color 
Uh, this is a darker pink. This is more like, I guess you can say it's a beige or a very, very light pink. Probably more like a beige. Um, so, and also the uh, facial expression is different. The uh, veins in the brain is different. A lot of uh, different things about them. But I like it. They really did a nice job. And it's a great addition to the line. And here's a look at Splinter. He's uh, slightly reimagined. He's in his classic animated colors. Uh, five points of articulation. He's in his uh, karate robe, purple with some gold and a black belt. He's got bandages around his uh, ankles and feet. And of course, he's got his tail on the back of him. His walking stick doesn't uh, stay in his hand. It just more like rests, unfortunately. But it still looks good on him. Uh, they really did a nice job on his uh, head sculpt. He's got his two front teeth there, uh, sculpted details indicating fur. They really did a uh, good job capturing that likeness, giving you that extra detail. And that uh, follows throughout his, uh, his legs, his hands, his feet, and his head, wherever he has fur. Uh, so let's take a look at the, the back. That's the back of Splinter. And you see the tail is down on this uh, one side of his leg. You see how this moves, just like any other reaction figure. Five points of articulation on him. And they really did a nice job on him as well. Really good likeness. Very well, very well designed. So, Space Cadet Raphael, I'm gonna take a look at next. Uh, he's in a spacesuit, pays a nice homage to the vintage figure. Uh, the helmet is not removable, but it does allow him to move his head. Five points of articulation. The, uh, the metallic uh, deco in the silver and... I know it's just uh, silver. Oh, although I think that red does look a little metallic. Uh, that's really nicely done. It stands out. I love how they captured the uh, the details on it. Really nicely done. He's got an oxygen tank on his back. You see the pattern of the turtle shell on his back as well in the, the yellow area. You can see that better from this angle. Really did a nice job. This blue sculpted pattern goes down the sides of his arms and legs, and it's met with a, an orange here and over on his legs. So they did, really did a nice job on that. And... Just to give you guys a comparison, that is the Wave 1 Raphael with this new variant. Uh, the Space Cadet Raphael does not have any accessories, but Wave 1 Raphael did. So there's your look at the, the back of them. You see how different it is, all new sculpt. including the head. You see the facial expression is different. At least up here, the mouth is very similar. And up next is April O'Neil. She's been uh, redesigned, reimagined, but keeps her classic yellow jumpsuit. 
which looks really good on her. Uh, nicely done sculpted details. She has pockets, buttons, all done in yellow. As you can see, her white belt, her white and black boots. Nicely done facial details. I like how she came out. I like the shade of yellow that they also used. She comes with a Channel 6 camera and a throwing star, which is sculpted with a little bit of depth to it so she can hold it, which is good. So they did a really nice job on there. Uh, I really like the details on the hair. She looks good. She fits in really nicely with the rest of the wave. Nice bright colors. They really did a uh, good job capturing that. And Baxter Stockman. Uh, so far he is, I think, my personal favorite of the wave. They really did a nice job on him. Not just the... Uh, keeping the uh, animated colors and the style that the figure came in, but they also gave him more points of articulation than the standard five. And that's, I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, oops. So, again, and inspired from the animated series, he's got his big bug head, really did a nice job there. He's got wings that move as shown. He's got four arms, two human, two insect, that move like that. So that's a total of seven points of articulation, and this would be nine. The legs are on hinge joints as well. There's a look at the back. The wings move, they can go all the way up. They can go out to the side like there. They can't go any lower than that. But you see all the details there, the uh, sculpted fur for the fly, really good facial likeness, big bug eyes, he's got fangs, and he keeps his lab coat with pockets in there and whatever that blue thing is, blue badge or something. I really like how they did this. Oh, they even have his uh, little bow tie there, yellow bow tie under his chin. I like how they did that. And of course, undercover Donatello or Donatello in disguise in his street clothes so they can blend in. On the animated series, uh, the Turtles just wore the street clothes as shown, but they also had a mask covering their face. Uh, this figure just has Donatello's head showing, no mask, and looks really good. Keeps his uh, bandana around his head. The hat is sculpted, can't be removed. Uh, five points of articulation on him. Here's a look at the back. He can hold his staff, as shown. Here is a closer look and they really did a good job on this figure you see the details on the raincoat the buttons the belt and there's a silver but uh, belt buckle uh, I love the shade of green that they used same as Raphael they really did a nice job on there and ultimately this is uh, a great wave uh, I really couldn't ask for a more solid wave than this. Uh, this wave includes six figures. Wave one included eight. So I wish it had uh, two more figures. I would love to have Casey Jones right now, sooner rather than later, but I can wait. Hopefully he'll be out in wave three. Uh, so I would definitely recommend picking these up. Uh, these are definitely something for anyone that grew up in the 80s, 90s, remember the classic show. Uh, you'll definitely love it. And if you haven't seen it, 
you haven't seen the series, please do so. It's a classic show. You'll love it. And there is your look at Wave 2 reaction figures from Super 7 in their Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line. Uh, links below to purchase. Uh, if you're on YouTube and on ToyHypeUSA.com, check it out. Uh, links to buy, uh, written review, and where to purchase. Uh, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of our social media channels, link below on YouTube or on the upper right hand side of the website. Greatly appreciated. Uh, again, strongly recommend these figures, uh, usually around five to nine points of articulation. Uh, definitely worth having. Great lineup. And here's a look at all of the heroes so far. You have the four Wave 1 figures of the Turtles. You have Wave 2, Space Cadet Raphael and Undercover Donatello. You have Splinter and you have April O'Neil. So I'm just moving these out of the way. Splinter's staff fell again. That's okay. So here's a look at two series available now and of course you got to take a look at the bad guys I love the bad guys they really did a nice job uh, Krang and Baxter Stockman joins Shredder Bebop and Rocksteady and the foot soldier as shown so overall definitely recommend it you can get these uh, links below on purchase if you're on the site and on YouTube Follow the link below. And thanks again for watching. And thank you to our friends at Super 7 for providing Wave 2 for review. Greatly appreciated. Keep up the great work. And stay tuned for more coverage, guys.